Ahead of the 2023 general elections, the gubernatorial candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Enugu State, Barista Peter Ndobisimba, has assured the people of the state that his administration would tackle security challenges through massive job creation, industrialization of the agricultural sector, tourism and ICT development, as well as road creation in rural and urban cities of the state, if elected. The PDP gubernatorial aspirants disclosed this at town hall meeting held in Mbanabo North and Mbanabo South Development Centers, both in our local government area of Enugu State. The Deputy Minority Leader's House of Representatives, Honorable Toby Okechipu, in his remarks, described Mba as an excellent leader for initiating a town hall meeting across the 68 local government areas of the state to hear directly from its people and feel their needs. In his manifesto, in a document of contract which he said he has given to us, he is the only person who has said that these are the things I will do in the next four, eight years. For the first time in our history, for the first time, he will open a job where the dog shouldn't be out when he not go. For the first time, then a deputy has said, "Nobody can buy a car. Nobody can buy a car. What we deserve, or what our people want, is just respect." Thank you. He commended the gubernatorial aspirant and plead all the people to support him massively. The man knows how to employ people. Over two thousand people working in his private company. Now our brother, the deputy, and the other candidates here, say aye. The House of Representatives candidates representing Ogo and Nimri and Oji River constituency, Dr. Anna Ayo Omwebu, during his remark, noted that PDP has never lost election in Greater Ogo. There is the election that went on. It's a talk between Nibai and the PDP. And promised by Istanba the support of the people of Greater Ogo. On behalf of Greater Ogo people, the PDP in particular, we rely this opportunity of flying the flag of PDP. On behalf of them, I am a great man. I will say no to you. In her remark, the candidate for Enugu State House of Assembly, representing Ogu North constituency, Honorable Mrs. Jane C. N. A., expressed her confidence and prayed for mercy upon the gubernatorial candidate. <laughs> If I go in there, of course. Yes. But when if I go in there, of course. Yes. I have to get you on a legal assignment. You get more, of course. Yes. So I have to wait for you, baby. I'm going to get me. Oh. I get the election now. Not only you. Amen. You will never be a lion. Lion brood. Amen. You don't remember you in a movie before. Yes. Be on a man and get it now. What's up? Thank you. Thank you. My malaria. Mother of perpetual health. I'm watching This is the one. Mother of mercy. Thank you. She used the medium to observe a mini silence for the late former chairman of Oji River local government area. Can we observe a mini silence for him? May their souls rest in perfect peace. Amen. 
<laughs> During the interactive section, former national youth leader of the PDP, SKE Udo Koi, said the people of the area had singled Mba out as the only candidate who has the capacity to build the state and deliver good governance. I want the I have a governor. When you enter your profile, your CV, we hope that may be ready to be our governor. He used the medium to present some of the challenges facing the people of Mbanabo, where he highlights poor health care, job creation, and transformation of the agricultural sector. <laughs> One thing with the doctor on here. In fact, I know a lot of my even losses. In Kevin and you want here, I give him one of the things. I now see the people of one Ebony, Yalayaka, if you are to be in the community, to see the people in security over that. Thank you. People, your excellency, your Zopa, I know your city gas and then Banabo. The Luan and agriculture. He further called for the operationalization of the law establishing the Enugu State University of the Education at Ihi. A physically challenged young man known as Emeka Wampo expressed his concern on the need for job creation for the disabled too. Barista Pitamba, while responding to the request made by the people at both Mbanabo South and North, observed that his manifesto had already captured the concerns raised by the people of the area. I that each primary health care centre, I for community health extension workers. I away to Yaro during the day. I am on day shift. Corona, but I am with another two community health extension workers. Yaro during the night. So go on, I hope you are Or go on, or go I am with the attend to them. I am with our doctors at our cottage hospitals. They buy me three mail of grade at cottage hospitals to general hospitals. I am with her. Um, we cannot have sustained development without security. And we can also not have security without sustained uh, development. So, Hannah, about the mutually reinforcing, we must identify the root causes of insecurity and making it address here uh -huh. one of those root causes of insecurity unemployment and in where aggressive program it may address unemployment even our uh, agriculture i am migrate our practice i may make it uh, currently manually and the enjoyable for pipeline i uh, move her uh, from that manual and pipeline method to mechanize and platform method. So I scale up behind the main agriculture and where economic zones now are various local governments. I don't have that economic zones. I have an area where we will map out for commercial agricultural production. Mba vowed to engage the youth in meaningful ventures and transform them to productive assets, noting that it will address the challenges of insecurity drastically. Flying with plans, in making sure now our youth is skillfully engaged. I am the Tori Moro, I am a vocational and technical training centers, I am established across the local governments. I am a skill acquisition centers. Then 
can we be starting here amen by i cover go the soft parts of address because i am an all i may address in the uh, unemployment my insecurity is reduced drastically in our community. Speaking further, he appreciates the people for presenting their needs, noting that it will provide accurate information to enable him to deliver a faster and quality leadership. He also pleaded for their votes in the coming 2023 elections. the task they are ahead of us. Speaking with Gamma TV, the Deputy Minority Leader, House of Representative Toby Okechuku, reaffirms his confidence on Barista Pitamba, saying he would deliver an excellent leadership. We have an enlightened engagement with uh, the incoming governor. It will be very productive with our people. But he has come to feel the pulse, to feel the needs of the people, to hear directly from them. It's not what politicians talk, it is actually hearing from the people. This is the first time in our history that somebody who is aspiring to be a candidate is going around. Also, the Deputy Director Campaign, Enugu West Compliance Committee, Barista Eze O Eze, spoke with Ogama TV. His visit today is a um, town hall meeting, which is interactive. He is coming to hear from my people what they would like him to do after he's swearing in as governor. So he's compiling our needs, which will form his campaign manifesto, so that when he gets into office, it will not be difficult for him to hit the ground running. He described Barista Pitamba as a competent leader for Enugu State. We discovered that he has the intellect, he is capable, he has the capacity. And we have seen that he's a, a government person and also a private person. Present in the event are the members of Ogu Local Government Area Traditional Rulers Council, amongst whom includes Igwe Stipre Madabuchi Nevorbasu, the traditional ruler of Agni Semako in Ogu Local Government Area in Nugu State, and Igwe Martins Ibeziako, the traditional ruler of Ihe in Ogu Local Government Area in Nugu State.